Hey, it's Polar Trek teacher Lucy Coleman, and I'm here at Lake Frixel in the McMurdo Dry Valleys of Antarctica. I wanted to show you what Lake Frixel is like, which is right on the edge of McMurdo Sound, and um, at the other end of the lake is the huge Canada Glacier. The camp is pretty functional and also comfortable. Uh, very utilitarian. It's got solar panels and space for its inhabitants to each have a tent. There are nine of us camped out here at the at Lake Frixel now. It's surrounded by mountains and the lake itself is ice covered. It has um, plenty of space for scientists to do their research and um, that happens in these four little uh, square buildings right here. Each one is a different kind of lab that we use um, for processing samples. Inside the main area is a generous, uh, generously sized kitchen um, where we can cook our meals and eat. <clears throat> and there's also a living room with a couch and some desks for doing work. Um, the cabin has no plumbing, um, so when we want to <laughs> get water, we need to trek over to Canada Glacier and pick glacier berries, is what we call them, which are chunks of ice that have fallen off the glaciers. We bring those back and store them under the front porch of the uh, main building until we need them. Um, the lake has different kinds of ice. Some of it is really smooth, and that's the moat ice. Um, but towards the center of the ice, the uh, center of the lake, the ice has a lot of topography and it's really a challenge to navigate, especially when we have gear and, uh, and need to use the ATV. This is our superhero Lucy navigating our carefully flagged route through the crazy Frixel ice. Thankfully, it's only the last half of the route is crazy. So she's going by one of our carefully flagged areas, which is um, we mark those spots that are uh, the easiest spot to get over some challenging terrain. Lucy's done this many times. She's really good at it. And I think she almost likes it. <laughs> Yay! The weather here has been really variable. There are some days that are cold and overcast and very, very windy and kind of miserable to be out in the cold working. Um, but there are other days that are bright and sunny and warm and the lake ice is actually starting to melt. <clears throat> and so when we drill, it can be a pretty sloppy mess and uh, we quickly get the bottoms of our pants and our shoes just caked with ice. Um, and then we go out and sample the water, uh, which can also be very cold and kind of miserable <laughs> and alternating with fine and dandy. Um, and so we, we hope for more of the latter as we um, progress through our field season here. Um, so thanks for uh, visiting with me at Lake Frixel.